welcome back to Fiber Cron Splicing. Today we're going to be prepping a 48 count cable. Uh, it's a 48 count Comsco single mode. If you're not sure what mode of fiber your your cable is, it's usually always printed on the cable. See, we have a Comsco, and it's going to say OS2. Uh, you can't see that. That's all a little bit rubbed off. But you want to make sure your your type of fiber matches. Obviously, you can't put multi mode with single mode. And you can't put uh, different types of multi mode together either. On one and on two, three, four, they won't go together. They have different core sizes. Uh, if you want to know more about that, there's another video uh, soon coming on that. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first, I just have your standard hook blade. Uh, you want to make. I usually change out my hook blade every three or four cables I prep. I like to keep it nice and sharp. And then you have your dikes. There's only two you really need, and so starting out prepping the cable, rule of thumb when you're prepping into a case or anything else is two arm links, okay? So I'm going to get two arm links, and I'm going to just make a ream, a light ream. Just screwed up. Okay? Now I'm not cutting into it, I just want to mark it, uh, sort of scoring it to know where I'm going to go, okay? I'm going to come back here. We're going to get just a little bit off the top, enough to where we can expose the strings. It's okay if you ream a little hard right there, because you usually cut that off anyways. All right? And what I did was I pinched right here and right here and just rotated. There's no twisting or anything like that. You're just rotating it to where you're breaking the armor off. Okay? We have the cable jacket, and then we have the armor. You want to make sure you get through the armor so it's going to slide off well. Now, you want to put two nicks into the armor and the jacket uh, so you can pull your string without breaking, but you want to make sure you're putting the nicks where the string lies. So I'm just placing my hook blade on the inside of that and rotating it out. Now, the reason I say, the reason I say you want to make sure you put it where the string lies, because if you put your, your ream over here and you start pulling it, it's more than likely just going to break off and not be a clean pull. So we got our two reams. All right, and now we got the slits. It's going to fit down right in that slit. You're going to pull it through. side done, string didn't break, we are good to go. Here we go. You want to make sure you're watching the string as you're pulling it to make sure it's not crisscrossing or going to come up into this other hole uh, and then just fall flush with it. You want to make sure it stays separate so when you separate the cable you're not ripping up your buffers trying to get it around that armor. down to this part. Now if you did a perfect ream, you should be able to pull this and snap it off. Okay? What you don't want to happen is whenever you pull on this, you don't want this armor folding over into the buffers. It's going to cut it. So, this broke apart pretty easily. A lot of times what I do is put just little nicks. This one's already good right here. And go to the other side, put a nick there, and it'll break off. Now, I was able to open mine without it uh, folding over, so I'm just going to cut it with dikes. Alright. 
Now, we have the, oh, what's this called? I don't remember, but it's, it's, it's to control moisture. Whenever this gets wet and it flames up and tries to not get it wet throughout the whole cable, I've never seen it work to this day, but they have it on there, the annoyers. Okay, it's gonna be two. A lot of times it's in sets of two, so I have these two white strings that I'm, I'm pulling off right now, and then I'm gonna just pop that sleeve off, and you wanna shimmy it down. I'm grabbing this side and this side, shimming it down because if you get it to fold over itself, it's gonna get stuck. You're gonna sit here cutting it off and then you're in danger of cutting the fiber when you're doing that. Okay, now we have the second set of strings. Now if you look, this fiber is straight right here and then it twists, it twists, and it's straight again, okay? You wanna cut these on the straights only because when it's twisting, this thread is in, there, in between all these buffers, and you're gonna be sitting here trying to finagle it, trying to get it, and you're probably gonna end up cutting something by accident. So, if I didn't have this straight right here, I would've moved up uh, up here to cut it, and then just slide it down and cut it right here. Thankfully, the straight is right here, so I'm just gonna slide that through. And then this, you just wanna grab two fingers and just slide it off, not letting it double over on itself. All right. Now we have our buffers exposed. It's a 48 count. And so we're gonna have blue, orange, green, brown. And you see this white here, uh, this is actually a filler. If you're not sure if it's a filler or not, just come to the end and look. We have fiber sticking out of all of them. Well, not really this one, but if you look inside, you can see the fiber. This is the only one you're not gonna see the fiber in. So you know it's gonna be safe to cut it out. When unraveling this, you wanna to go to the straights and just untwist it and keep on twisting it until it comes undone back here and all the way over here. Then you wanna to go to your next straight and you wanna do the same thing. All right, and everything's all twisted. You wanna get your filler, cut it out. And then we have our straight membrane right here. Uh, and you're always gonna have the straight membrane in the middle of uh, each one of your cables. Depending on what case you're putting this in depends on what uh, length you're gonna cut this uh, straight membrane out. We're not doing anything special, so the pretty standard size is leaving two inches of straight membrane on the end. All right, now we got that. Take this out. And to wrap this up, we just take the end. So we want to tape the end up, not only to make it look better, but also if you're moving this around and messing with it and you accidentally pull it too hard, you're pulling against a flush piece of armor right here. So you're going to pull this and then it's just going to kink super easily. I mean, just anything is going to kink it over immediately. This tape, taping it up against a straight membrane, gives it a little bit more leeway to play with in case of an accidental uh, pull on your buffers. Okay, we have this taped up. And we got two arm links worth of buffers to work with. Not a complete, prepping a 48 count cable.